Hello, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise. I live in Manchester uh, in the UK. Um, I like to grow all kinds of plants, both um, indoor ornamental plants like these, uh, tropical plants, uh, both outdoor and indoor tropical plants. And I like to grow flowers. I also like to grow uh, my own veg and uh, fruit if possible and I'm always on the lookout for trying new things. Now today we're going to be talking about growing um, Asian vegetables, typically um, Bangladeshi ones that uh, I have done in the past and I'm going to do some more today. So I've got some seeds to show you and um, we'll just get to it. So today I'm going to plant some. Uh, I've got some seeds here and one of these I've got a tray up here I'm going to show you the seeds first individually now that little seed there very tiny um, is a kumra seed which is a type of pumpkin and it has a, a green outer skin and inside it's bright orange um, there are different names for it. In, in Bangladesh they call it Kumra. Um, I think in Japan it's like Kaboka. Uh, they're grown in Asia, um, throughout Asia. They all have different names obviously for their own vegetables. But um, it would be like a type of pumpkin. So it's a member of the pumpkin family. So I've got um, a tray already. Um, I put some miracle Grow compost. You can use any kind of compost like um, B&Q, Verve, compost. It doesn't matter at the seedling stage as long as it's fairly light, you know, the compost. I wouldn't recommend planting the seeds outdoors. If you're in the UK and you're wanting to grow these types of vegetables or experiment, try them indoors first when they get a little bit bigger and towards the end of May um, in the UK, the frost season should be finished by May and we get the warmer weather, then you can plant them outside. And I will do another video when I'm going to plant them outside and I'll show you how I do it. Um, and, you know, it's been successful for me in the past. So at the moment, I've just got them lined up here, if you can see. So those are my kumra seeds. I've only got a few. Uh, a friend of mine, um, she gave me these seeds from uh, her sister. Recently came back from Bangladesh and uh, she bought quite a lot of seeds. So she let me have some very kindly. Um, and so that's the kumra. And the other seeds that I'm planting, I'll just show you. If you can see that. That's a kum. Uh, sorry, no, not kumra. That's a kodu or banglalau. Different names for it. It's a bottle gourd, and I do have a packet of seeds that I can show you. But um, I have grown these in the past. I mean, I actually had a company send me lots of seeds a few years ago. So I have grown these over the years, and I found that this variety is um, a very um, easy one to grow and you will get the uh, the long fruits and as you can see in the picture they grow on a trellis and they hang down they're quite heavy so I've got about I think four or five seeds in there so again my friend gave me some I had a couple of my own um, but there they are that I've planted them in and I will cover that with more compost so that's the um, Bangla Lao and also actually I've not brought the pots over or have I? Um, I've got some of these. So these are a type of bean. I'll just show you. And they are uh, in English they're called hyacinth bean or lab lab and it's a vine the, the bean grows like a normal bean would grow uh, up a, a vine or a stick up a fence and these beans are flat 
and that I don't have a picture to show you but if you want to google what they are uh, you could put in hyacinth bean they have a nice purple flower although although some varieties you can get have got white flowers and they have a broad shaped bean broad and short not it's not a long bean it's quite short and they have like a purplish green color to them and they're quite sort of thick the outer skin and in Bangladesh they do eat these beans they eat the whole the skin everything so nothing goes to waste and they'll stir, put them in curries or stir fries and taste really really nice so in Bangladesh they do grow in winter whereas we wouldn't be able to grow them here in the UK in the winter so sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle to get them to flower and produce the beans I've had them flower very late in the year and by November I've got the beans so you know it, it's an experiment um, there's no harm in trying but I have grown them before and I've grown both the vining tall one and I've grown a, there's a dwarf variety so that only grows about say about a foot tall and still produces the beans but not as prolific you know not as many as the uh, the vining type so that's the 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 bean now you can soak these and I would just plant them up in a pot I think uh, I don't know where I put them now <laughs> I did have some planted up but you can soak them first some people soak them um, so I do both I'll try soaking a few and then planting them so I'll leave them 24 hours and then take them out of the water and plant them or you can just plant them straight in the compost try both um, if you've got enough beans that is and you can buy the seeds off eBay there are lots of eBay sellers selling Bangladeshi uh, vegetables so if you're not familiar with them and you want to try you can go on eBay people are selling them and I, I would suggest buying them from UK sellers because the UK seller will probably have grown that particular vegetable and kept some of the vegetables aside for seed purposes so their seeds will be fresher than trying to import from say Bangladesh or anywhere like that um, unless you know somebody you know personally who's brought them back and you know that the seeds are fairly fresh um, the other vegetable that I'm going to try to grow have actually tried in the past is okra so the, the Bangla word for um, okra is uh, bindi or in different parts of Bangladesh they call it derush so different words in English okra, ladies fingers um, they are definitely a tropical veg you do need good warm weather for, for these to grow and flower they have a light, they have a nice yellow flower and they produce these long pods now whether you get a great harvest off them you know who knows um, I have tried growing them before and they don't do very well outside in the garden <clears throat> excuse me but you would be better off if you have them on a in, inside a conservatory or you've got a greenhouse um, they will do a lot better there so I've managed to get a pod off one plant um, they will have they will germinate the problem is getting them to a, a height that uh, they will start producing lots. So I would suggest putting them in a greenhouse if you've got one. Um, so the okra straight into the... So I've just planted some up here. They're in this. It says okra. Same sort of compost. Any, any kind of compost will do as long as it's light and airy. Once they pop up, you can separate them. And put them in individual pots grow them on indoors until about may end of may then maybe take them out to your greenhouse or if you've not got a greenhouse and you still want to try growing them then somewhere in a sh very sheltered spot maybe against the wall of a house so it's got the warmth of the wall and it's not being blown about you know um, in the wind and it's not getting too damp because it will rot, you know, they, they won't thrive. So that's the okra or the bindi and the other uh, vegetable seed I want to show you 
Now my friend, she gave me these seeds. I don't know if you can see, they look a bit like Corella seeds, but they're not bumpy. I'm not growing Corella this year. Um, they have had success in the past, but um, they just take too long. So this is called Foicha, but uh, I think in other parts of Bangladesh, they call it Sitinga. So it's a snake gourd, type of snake gourd, very, very long. And they have um, like a, a stripe, so that looks like a cucumber, a big wide cucumber. Um, and it has like a stripe uh, alongside, so it's dark green and then it has a light green or whitish stripe. So again, this type of vegetable, um, part of the cucumber family, and they vine, vining type of uh, plant. You do need heat to grow them. Um, I would suggest maybe, if, again, if you've got a greenhouse or polytunnel, grow them in there or keep them in a sheltered part of your garden if you haven't got those and maybe against a fence or a wall and, you know, so they've got some protection uh, to the back. So don't plant them out once you've got them germinated. Um, don't plant them out straight away. Wait till it's about end of May, uh, beginning of June. So that's uh, the Sisinga or the snake gourd. So those um, are the seeds that I'm growing. There's another one that I'm growing um, called Puishag, but I can't show you the seeds because they're a little tiny, little black, uh, little round uh, spherical seeds. And it's um, I've planted it up already in here. So I've got Puishag, which is the English name for that is Malabar spinach. So if you Google Malabar spinach, you'll be able to see what type of vegetable it is. And um, as I said, I've, I've not got the packet. I've just got the seeds off a friend of mine. And Malabar spinach is a thick vegetable vine. And the leaves are nice and big, round, roundish uh, green leaves. You can eat the whole lot apart from the roots. So I wouldn't suggest eating roots, but the vine can be cut back at the end of the season and you can harvest the seeds. It will it will produce little flowers and it have lit, they look like little blackberries, you know, little, not black, black currants they look like. And you just pick those off, let them dry out and let, keep those seeds for, for the next time you want to grow them. But the Malabar spinach, uh, very tasty and nice, um, healthy, thick vine you'll get growing. Some people grow them indoors, keep them on the kitchen window so and have them trailing. So you could do that if you don't have a garden. <clears throat> so I, I have done that in the past. I've had them growing indoors rather than putting them outdoors. But I have seen them. I've seen uh, Bangladesh people growing them in tubs, in containers, in the back garden, in the yard. And they do very well there. So Malabar spinach I've got in there. I've got the um, the snake gourd. I've got the um, the pumpkin, the the Bangladeshi pumpkin, and I've got the bottle gourd. So uh, that's what I've got growing in there. So, so those four uh, rows there, you can see, I've got the seeds in there. So when they germinate, and they're probably, I'm hoping in about two or three weeks' time, they'll be a decent sized. I can show you. Can update you on those. Hopefully, I get all of them to germinate. And another vegetable which I can't show you the seeds are very, very tiny, little tiny black seeds, and that is dougie. Um, this is um, the English name for that is amaranth. And um, amaranth is grown as I've seen it grown here in the UK uh, in uh, British um, stores where they sell plants. And they grow it as an ornamental um, and they have like little pink flowers that come off it like little little furry tails but um, in Bangladesh they don't really let them go to see this well if they do they collect the seeds but the, they're grown for the, the vegetable itself the, the stalk the leaves all of it is eaten and so they have like these nice dark red stems and reddish leaves and um, so the tiny little black seeds, so I've already scattered them in there. So I'm hoping that they will come up 
and then I will put those outside and I know some people just sow them straight into the ground like they would sow coriander um, and they have good success but I don't trust my my back garden um, it's full of slugs and snails doesn't matter what I do they would just eat them straight away so I, I would prefer to let these grow a decent size and maybe pick out one or two and then plant them um, I've got little troughs in my front garden and that's where I grow some of my vegetables um, like Swiss chard, kale, carrots I've already got um, I've already started those off and I'm waiting for them to grow a little bit bigger and then they will go in the troughs uh, out there so these are the types of vegetables that I'm interested in growing uh, it's always a challenge um, but I know that you know they will grow here I have tried them in the past one or two I've not done before the um, the foicha the uh, sisinga I, I don't think I've had good you know I've not had much success with that I think um, there's another vegetable that I've also tried to grow um, the corella the corella I'm not growing that this year I usually grow aubergines as well um, but I've not got any seeds and with the lockdown happening I've not been able to buy any and I thought well I'll wait till hopefully after the lockdown maybe some nurseries will be selling some aubergine uh, plants you can get them fairly cheap I'll get a couple of those but I, I am also growing uh, chilies so I like to grow different types of chilies at the moment I've got some um, katamuris which means in, in Bengali it's literally the unripe chili uh, the green chili basically um, usually they're a type of bird's eye chili that you would get so I just take the seeds from a, a store-bought chili and I've just planted those and usually I'll pick a variety that's nice and hot not too hot but one that I can tolerate and I put in my stir fries in my curries etc even put them in my salads so I've got some of those I've also got the lemon drop chilies growing I, I love those I grow those every year and they're very prolific and they have a lovely yellow uh, lemony citrusy taste but they also have good heat to them as well so they're not bland they're you know they're a decent uh, tasting chili and I also grow nagas uh, different type of naga chilies now naga originally came from Bangladesh which um, the, the most of the people that grow naga chilies in this country came from Bangladesh and they're the ones that brought over these chilies either they brought them over themselves or they get them from the Asian grocers usually the Bangladeshi grocers and now the chili craze has taken off in the UK over the last few years um, English people are growing lots of different types of chilies and they've hybridized and you know mixed them with other chilies and created other types but I just stick to the normal you know um, the, the Naga chili but I have got some this is a variation on the naga and it's called the armageddon now if you live in the uk you might have seen the armageddon chilies in the um, supermarkets um, they've been grown by a commercial grower in bedfordshire and the these are bigger than the normal naga the naga murich is usually about that big and it's sort of like triangular shaped these are a little bit longer um, so they're not the they're not like a scotch bonnet they are definitely got the naga smell and the naga heat so these are armageddon chili so i've got these popped in there and i will start to separate them out i'm just waiting for the roots to some of the roots i think you can see at the bottom i think i can see yep yeah there's some definitely got some roots coming here so I will start to lift them when they're about a little bit bigger a little bit higher and grow them on indoors and I won't put those outside until they're a decent size some people keep them indoors a lot of Bangladeshi people grow their vegetables and the, the chili plants they'll keep those chili plants indoors but they do tend to attract a lot of green fly so I find <clears throat> better to put them outside let the other insects that eat the eat green fly let them you know sort of like clean them off basically because 
um, it's not good to spray these plants with insecticide you know if they get lots of bugs on them because these are things that you're going to be eating and I don't think you know it's wise to to use fly spray or bug spray on them so keep them outside let the rain let the wind get to them it makes a healthier stronger plant um, if you've got a greenhouse fine pop them in there you'll get really big plants I know a lot of people grow their chilies in greenhouses still get the problem with the bugs though so um, I, I keep mine out outside so uh, that's what I'll be doing I will be um, keeping an eye on these plants watch them germinate when they're a decent size I'll post another video and if all of you watching if you like this video please press the like button what I ask you to please also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more um, plant related videos and I hope to do some more videos in the future with um, Bangladeshi and Asian fruit uh, different varieties of Bangladeshi fruit that you know um, that can't buy here in the UK so please pit, uh, please press the um, subscribe and the notification um, bell then you will receive uh, you know um, an update on on these videos that I've just um, posted today and you'll see what's happened with these and also if you're interested in things like growing beetle leaf and growing citrus um, I will be doing more videos on that as well so thank you for watching take care everyone thank you bye bye